also heard from him through his assistants who were texting for him. Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. I'll sustain the objection. He's texting through them. Objection, but Your I, Honor. I'll sustain I, the objection. I, I'll strike that from the record. And you'll just I, regard I that testimony. Seems Amber Heard might have struck a nerve in Judge Penny Askrick as reports are stating that she asked that part of Heard's testimony be stricken from the record. Oh, no, 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 we're not talking right now. Looks like things are starting to get out of hand in the Depp Heard case as Amber might be getting under the judge's skin and that may not be in her best interest. What did Amber say to piss off the judge? Will it affect her case in the ongoing trial? Although there's been several big reveals in the ongoing case that have caused reaction it seems Heard's latest testimony has caused the biggest yet, as it caused quite the scene in Judge Penny Askrick's courtroom recently. While on the stand a couple of days ago, Heard gave an account of specific incidents where Depp allegedly abused her and also spoke on him, claiming to put the monster away. But while she was describing the incident, Heard was apparently making certain additions that were inappropriate, and because of that, Depp's team kept objecting to her words, which the judge in many cases said abstained and even asked that they be totally stricken from the records. On the stand, after describing a series of incidents where she got abused by the Pirates of the Caribbean star, she went on to talk about different times in their lives when Depp had tried to change from his violent ways. According to the actress in 2014, Depp admitted to her that he'd been taking things too far, calling his episodes Savage Monster Devil in his apologies. She said she thought it was encouraging that he recognized the harm. Sometimes I don't think he understood how much he could hurt me physically, she said. She also said that this was around the same time she had started to defend herself from him. In her words, by December 2014, I was pushing back. I'd push him off of me. I'd try to hit his hands away. I tried to always get back up, which sometimes, not sometimes, almost always made it worse. It always seemed to provoke him. I would yell at him. I'd scream at him. I'd call him ugly names. So ashamed at the names we call each other. It was awful. It was awful. And we both got into that pattern. It was so, I was so angry this was happening to me. And it felt so unfair, she said. She explained further that she had tried different strategies to change the pattern for a year or two, but her strategies weren't very productive. Nothing I did would make him stop hitting me, she said, resorting to not responding physically or verbally and threatening to call the police and to leave him. While talking Talking about all of this on the stand, Heard was repeatedly interrupted by Depp's counsel, who called out objections to hearsay to her words, most of which the judge sustained. The actress then went on to talk about Depp's detoxing process, stating that it took place on a private island in the Bahamas after the Pirates of the Caribbean star had finished filming in Boston. It was, for the first few days, okay, peaceful, Heard said. But she said then that that changed, and his mood changed changed rapidly. He'd be mad at me, then he'd want to hug me. He cried a lot, then he'd want to have sex a lot, which is not like Johnny at all, she continued. He slapped me across the face, but he did it while crying. It was the weirdest thing, just for crying, saying no woman had ever embarrassed him like that. No woman had ever made him feel like that. I heard that for the rest of the trip, too, on repeat, she said. Once again, while she was giving an account of the incidents that allegedly took place on the island, Depp's counsel of Rejected, some of which, this time, the judge actually overruled because it can't be hearsay, she's only describing how she remembers it. But even though she seemed to have been talking about the experience from her own perspective, several users online believe she was lying about the things that actually happened there. Like this user who believes the actress had been faking tears among several other things she did while telling her story. They wrote, She was the main abuser in the relationship. Her accounts looked to me like she was is acting a scene more than telling us her recollections. She goes from being upset to totally calm to trying to fake tears to calm again. It just stinks. She's hiding stuff while trying to muster up support. Not a great look in my opinion. Someone else stated that although they believe Heard's accounts of the arguments happening, they don't believe he actually laid a finger on her. I agree. I mean, everyone argues. I believe that happened. Everyone says things that they don't mean, say things they call each other names. However, 
However, I honestly do not believe he laid a finger or anything else on this woman. I am a survivor and it infuriates me to see her get up here and say some of those things because of their lies. Even with all of these people stating that Heard's version probably contained lies, some other users claimed that they actually wanted to believe her. But her wobbly story wasn't helping. It got more bizarre today when she talked about him holding her down and pummeling her head, then showed pictures where she looks perfectly normal but describes things we literally don't see in the photo. I am so willing to believe her. I don't care at all about death and it's not like I care about her, but it's so much less complicated for me to believe her. However, it seems that these users might have actually been right about her as Depp's doctor who went with the pair for the detoxing described the exact opposite of what she told the court. According to reports, the Beverly Hills-based physician David Kipper along with Debbie Lloyd, a registered nurse, accompanied Depp and Heard, who was his fiance at the time, to the island to assist in the detox process and also give Depp his medication. Looking at her notes from the time period for recollection, Lloyd spoke about Depp experiencing muscle spasms, chills, and pains, all of which are typical for someone going through detox, as well as feeling frustrated. According to her, part of his desire to give up on the treatment, Lloyd said, was due to tension between him and his fiance. She then mentioned that they jointly came up with a plan for her to take a few days to herself. Lloyd had written in her notes. She recalled several other incidents throughout the fall where Depp apparently increasingly stressed by arguments with Heard. At one point, Heard agreed to start working with her own personal nurse and see a therapist to help with her anxiety and try a new mood stabilizer. Both Kipper and Lloyd said they didn't witness physical abuse between the couple, but Lloyd did say that she saw arguments between the two and once saw Depp push over one of Heard's clothing racks while on vacation. Lloyd said she grew concerned about the couple's arguments because they were a trigger for Depp and he would become upset. Checking her notes, Lloyd spoke about another incident where Depp kicked in a door while filming a 2014 project. Refusing to speak to the director was verbally aggressive and was prescribed Annex to calm down. According to her, she then wrote in her notes that Depp was anxious and depressed over his relationship issues. And then later, about a month after Depp and her got married, they traveled to Australia where he was filming the fifth installment of the Pirates of the Caribbean. During an argument between the couple, the top part of Depp's right middle finger was sliced off. He told the emergency room doctors he cut it with a knife, Kipper said. Though Lloyd testified she heard different stories. In one version, Heard threw a bottle of vodka at him and in another, Depp slammed his hand with the phone. At this point, everyone had probably been assuming the nurse was on Team Depp, but then she dropped a huge bomb that changed things. Lloyd testified that at one point in Australia, she saw a bruise on Heard's arm, but did not elaborate. She said that after the finger incident, according to her notes, Depp was advised to stay away from her because their relationship was toxic. Without a doubt, it's pretty obvious that a lot happened in that marriage, and while different people have been giving different versions of what actually happened, we'll find out who the jury believes soon enough. That's it for now, and we'll see you on the next one.